This video is brought to you by Repl.it, a powerful platform for educators, learners, and developers that makes coding and collaborating easy. Use the name Sean Pritchard in the link below to sign up today and start programming in your browser. So I want to start this channel segment in programming and tech interview questions with one of the most popular Google interview questions out there. This question was also in the movie The Interview. So go ahead and check this out. You're shrunken down to the size of nickels and dropped to the bottom of a blender. What do you do? You take her flat on your right, back right, like right. this. You just lay back, enjoy lay that breeze. In reality, in a real interview, that would not be the real answer to this question. But I have the answer for you, so let's check it out. All right, so let's move on to our first question. If you got shrunk down to the height of a nickel and thrown into a blender with your mass reduced so that your density stayed the same as usual and you have 60 seconds before that blade starts moving, what do you do? Would you tie your shoes together and try to make a rope and get out? Or would you try to break through the blender glass? Or would you try to sit in the middle of the blade and let centrifugal force take over so that way you can sit there and ride it out as long as you can? What would you do? This is what I want to know in the comments below. So pause the video here and tell me what it is that you would do to get out of this blender. All right, so if you're ready for the answer, let's go ahead and get into it. So if you ever paid attention in rocket science class, which I doubt any computer science or data science majors ever took, um, you might know that there's a formula uh, for energy of a projectile, where E equals mgh, where E is the energy, m is its mass, and g is the acceleration of gravity, and h is the height. Um, so let's put this into perspective. If, so suppose we take two rocket boosters and attach them to a rocket here and we ignite them in mission control simultaneously. The question is, the double rocket go any higher because it has two? No, it's got twice the fuel energy but it also has twice the mass to lift against Earth's gravity. That leaves the height unchanged. And that same principle applies to shrunken humans jumping into a blender that have 60 seconds before it gets turned on. As long as muscle energy and mass shrink in proportion, jump height should stay exactly the same. So the answer is to just jump out of it. 